Is the Samsung Galaxy A10e a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Follow me on Instagram at Kevin Breeze TV. Please join the Kevin Breeze tech community on Facebook to chat about budget smartphones, ask questions, and help others. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here coming at you with my review of the Samsung Galaxy A10e for Metro by T-Mobile. Now this device is available at other carriers such as Boost Mobile, and I'm pretty sure in the future it's going to be making its way over to even more US carriers, but this specific phone is the Metro by T-Mobile version of the device. You can see we have the box here, of course A10e on the front, but then on the back of the box it does say Metro by T-Mobile. Now this device is currently being offered at the retail price of $179.99, but very few people, if not anybody, will be paying that full retail price. Instead, Metro is offering a variety of different promotions so that you can save a lot of money with this device. For example, if you're porting in from another carrier, you can get the A10e for free. And I'm pretty sure right now if you get a new line at Metro, you can also get this for free. And even if you're a current Metro customer and you want to upgrade from an older phone to the A10e, I'm pretty sure that there is a pretty significant discount with that as well. So regardless, for like 99.9% .9 of people, you're going to be paying under $100 or even getting this phone for free at Metro. Now since the promos are always changing, I don't want to mention anything too specific in this video. So I highly recommend that you go over to your local Metro store or dealer and talk to them about the current pricing for this device. But definitely do not pay any more than $100 for the Samsung Galaxy A10e. Now there is a similar phone that you can buy on Amazon called the Samsung Galaxy A10. So basically there's no E at the end. And that device is actually factory unlocked and it's very similar to the A10e. So I will be leaving a link in the video description where you can check that out. I believe the current price for the Galaxy A10 is $129.99 at the moment, but definitely look to see what the current price is for that. Because if you do want to go the factory unlocked route and you don't want to get a device that's locked to a carrier like this one is, then that's definitely a good option and it's pretty much the same exact phone. Now the Samsung Galaxy A10e features a 5.83 inch display coming in at 720p with a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. So it's a pretty good looking display, it has really good colors and I'm a big fan of it overall. Even though it's only 720p, it still looks really good. Now we do have a teardrop notch at the top here, which I definitely don't mind. I feel like it's kind of the best of both worlds because you still get a really good screen to body ratio, which is kind of the purpose of a notch. But at the same time, you do have plenty of space on the top for your various notification icons and system status icons. Now also up top here is the five megapixel front facing camera. It's a pretty good camera and later on in the video, you'll see photo and video samples from it. Now this device features 32 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion. I'm really happy to see that it does feature 32 gigs because that's definitely not bad for a very low end budget phone. Now there's no wireless charging with the Galaxy A10e and there's also no fingerprint sensor. So that is a bit of a disappointment. I would have really liked to see a fingerprint sensor. And for those of you that currently have a device with a fingerprint sensor, it's really hard to switch to a device that doesn't have one. Now thankfully we do have facial recognition with the Galaxy A10e, so if you want to unlock your phone that way, you can do that. And then of course we have the standard pin code method of unlocking your device as well. Now the camera on the rear is 8 megapixels, it's just a single camera, and there is no portrait mode at all on the front or rear cameras. Now this device features 2 gigabytes of RAM, which really isn't impressive, but then again is to be expected for a phone in this price range. It features the Samsung Exynos 7884 processor, which actually is a pretty decent processor. Here is the Antutu benchmark results for the phone. So I did the test here and got 88944 for the test. Here's some more information as well for the CPU, GPU, UX, and memory. So if that's helpful to you, then there's the results right there. If it's not, then just disregard it. Now video recording on the Samsung Galaxy A10e maxes out at 1080p 30 frames per second and the device features a 3000 mAh internal battery which isn't too bad. Now the software on here is Android 9 Pie which is a good thing but we do have Samsung skin on here as well so it's a pretty thick skin 
and we do get a decent amount of Samsung software pre-installed, such as the Galaxy Store and Samsung Notes. But what's nice is that the software itself is very well optimized to work well on the device, so it's a very smooth and good experience overall. Now that we've talked about the specifications of the Samsung Galaxy A10e, let's talk more about the hardware. Now I already talked a lot about the front here. We have of course that 720p display at 5.83 inches with that 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. Now with that aspect ratio, the device is a little bit slimmer but taller, which is not bad at all. That's really good for browsing the web and going on social media, and even watching videos is really good on this phone. We do have a little bit of a chin on the bottom here, but considering that this device is very inexpensive, there are going to have to be some compromises. Now taking a look at the left side here, we just have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. On the right side, we have the volume button and we have the power button. On the top of the phone, we have the noise canceling microphone. And on the bottom, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the USB-C port. So it is really nice that this phone does have USB-C. We have the microphone and we have the speaker. Then on the back side of the device, we have the camera module and we have the Samsung logo. And as you can see, we have a reflective material on the back side of the phone that definitely does pick up some fingerprints, but I am pretty happy with the quality of the device. The phone does feel very solid and it doesn't feel cheap at all. As you can see, we have the Moto E6 right here on the front. We have Metro by T-Mobile branding at the bottom of the box. Then on the back side, we have some basic specifications about the phone. This device is really good for viewing videos. Now, it is limited, at least in YouTube, at watching videos at 720p, but that does make sense because the display itself is 720p. The speaker is pretty good, but I noticed a few times that my finger accidentally covered it up, but if you just are careful, it's not really a problem. And what's nice about the speakers on the Galaxy A10e is that they're good enough where you can just kind of sit back, relax, and watch videos on here and you won't be distracted or annoyed by the audio quality not being good because it's definitely good enough. Of course, this device doesn't have speakers that are as clear or loud as a flagship phone such as the Galaxy S10 or the iPhone XS, but like I said, it's good enough and it does get the job done. What's cool too is that you can crop in the video so that it fills up your entire display for a very immersive video viewing experience. Now Temple Run is a pretty basic game, but it does perform well on the phone, and it's a pretty common trend with most lower end games. Now you'll still be able to play PUBG Mobile on here as well, but not as smooth as you'd be able to play it with a flagship device. So for your basic games like Candy Crush or Temple Run, those are going to work really well, but if you decide to play more complicated games on here like PUBG, it is going to be a bit laggy. Now Fortnite does not work at all on the Galaxy A10e. Let's now take a look at some photo and video samples from this device. Now I'm very happy with the photo quality from the phone. I feel like for a device in this price range, it definitely does a really good job. Of course, there is no portrait mode, which is a bit unfortunate, but again, at this price, you can't ask for too much. But selfies look good. The rear camera is very nice as well. I'm pretty happy with the colors and the saturation is good. And the camera quality certainly does not measure up to what you'd find with a flagship device. But again, you have to keep in mind how much cheaper this phone is compared to a flagship phone. And with that in mind, I am very happy with the photo quality. At a bare minimum, it's just nice knowing that with the camera on this device, you can take photos that are good enough to post on social media, whether that's on Instagram or Facebook, and maybe you're trying to preserve memories, maybe you're on a vacation or something like that. What's good is that you will be able to preserve those memories with the Galaxy A10e and the photos really do look decent. Let's now go over to some video quality samples. So I am very happy with the Samsung Galaxy A10e. However, if you can get the Galaxy A20 for the same price or even if you have to pay a little more, I would definitely recommend going for that phone over the A10e. I think for not much more money, the A20 is way better because it performs a lot better you get better cameras because the A20 has a wide angle camera on it in addition to the main camera. You get portrait mode, you get more RAM. So there's a whole bunch of perks that you get with the A20 over the A10e. Definitely check out my video on my channel where I compare the A20 to the A10e because it is a pretty interesting comparison. 
but I would definitely recommend going that route. Now, if you really have to get the A10e, then I think you will be happy with it because it is a good phone and it's very competitive at its price. It's just that there are other options out there that are very good as well. But I hope you enjoyed this review of the Samsung Galaxy A10e for Metro by T-Mobile. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know if you already own the Galaxy A10e and how your experiences are with it. But this is Kevin here. Thanks for watching. And also, if you want to buy the standard Galaxy A10 that is factory unlocked, take a look at the link in the video description as I'll take you over to Amazon where you can check that out. But thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.